So apparently there is a plugin called Autopod and it will edit an entire podcast episode for you in a couple of minutes, essentially replacing the editor. Just so happens I have a podcast to edit and I would like to be done with it in a couple of minutes. So let's start a free trial. Check out. What do we need to check out for him? What do you mean? $29? I thought this was free. Um, 30 day trial. Okay. So it says 30 day trial free every one month. $29. Thank you for your order. You're welcome. Download Autopod. I would love to download Autopod. Oh, there's my license. Get out of here. Uh, free. Yes. Download. Download. Yes, have full access to everything I own ever. Install it all. So here's the thing. I'm probably gonna do this the most painful way possible because I don't use Premiere. I don't like Premiere. It scares me, it's intimidating. So what I did was I brought everything into DaVinci and then I exported every track individually because I don't know how to set up sequences in Premiere. But maybe this will be a good example for people trying to check this out as well because y'all might not know how to use this either. So let's give it a shot. All right, I got my folder. Let's go ahead and select the audio layers and the camera views, the project. Wait, why? Why were you unable to? You were unable to open the file on disk, but why though? I hate having that, yeah. It's... <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna have to re-export it in DaVinci. That is fun, give me another hour or so. All right, there we go. Let me grab this guy. Let me just grab you. Map. So now we have our audio. The so three cameras, two audio tracks. And I think what we're supposed to do is, ooh, the file. Where is this? Window extensions. <gasps> extensions. It, oh, it's got a bunch of things. Multi-camera editor. Right. Oh, I gotta do my email and key. Ooh, okay, here we go, here we go. Uh, Select preset, oh, I have no preset. Cutting method. Oh, enable disable. I think I want that, because otherwise it'll like cut, cut. So we want enable disable, multi-shot frequency. Let's just, let's keep it a nice medium. Let's do medium. We got three speakers though. Oh, wait, no, we have two speakers, but we have three cameras. Oh, so this is cool. So video one is gonna be Minguez. Video two is main event. Video three is all of them. <gasps> Interesting. Okay, here we go. Let's see how it does. Actually, hold on. Let me zoom out. We can see the whole timeline here. Okay, here we go. Boop. And it's gonna do its thing. Hello? Did it freeze? That's no good. Oh, well, my virus blocker just blocked it. Well, that's not good. Yeah, I don't think it worked. There's nothing got cut. Nice, let's freaking go Premiere. Ah, there we go. Okay. So yeah, it looks like I'm just a moron per usual. So my my antivirus uh, completely quarantined the file. So Autopod, if for some reason you check this out or Total AV, I don't know what you should do, but just know that's a thing. I think we have it all set up again. Two speakers, three video tracks, right? Video track, yeah, okay. This is all looking good. Let's try this again. <gasps> Yo! <laughs> Whoa, hold on here. That was kind of crazy. It's completed successfully. Yo. That was kind of dope. Let's zoom out on our timeline. <gasps> wow. Wow. That's pretty crazy. Let's, uh, let's, I don't know. Let's play a section. Let's see how it came out. This looks like it'll be a, a pretty decent one. It's got all three tracks involved. Uh, let's, I don't, let's jump in. Let's see what it did some warzone gameplay oh here's mm. this song i made here's you know it's just going to be also such different so how do i mm. how do i sell that as a channel you know um and that's always kind of made me not so it's not bad it. The, <laughs> you know but it I, looks like it cut yeah. to it looks like it cut to mingas a couple of times when he did a i mm. hope there is really found my home
Okay. <laughs> I think there's something out there um, to do. I mean, that seemed better stream. right there. Seemed a little more natural. Is my thing in the crowd a million times. Yeah. You know, <laughs> like just being like, I hope I can do this justice, and you know, what's I'm the biggest the new guy as well? What's yeah. the biggest crowd you've you've jumped out in front of? Um, I don't know. That's pretty cool. So, so this is like an hour and a half long podcast. If I were to edit this myself, it would probably take me at least double that time. So I would say three, three hours. And it just chopped up the whole thing in a minute, which is pretty insane. So I think with a tool like this, the quality of your edits or your cuts that you're going to get back is also going to depend on what you put in, which makes sense, right? I think that's kind of true with any software. If you put trash in, you're going to get trash out. So if I were to do this again, I would probably go through ahead of time and maybe clean up the audio a little bit and then run it through this. But the fact that this just cut down three hours of editing to one minute for me is, I don't know, that's pretty cool. It might be worth it. <laughs> Now, I haven't been editing long enough to know if something like this is going to literally take people's jobs away. Because what I'm going to have to do is I'm probably going to have to export this anyways. I'm going to bring it into DaVinci and then play the whole thing through and make sure there's no weirdness that shouldn't be in there. And then I'm also going to have to add an intro, outro, like the normal things that you would do with an episode like this. So I feel like where this is going to be the most useful for people is when you want to take the bulk of your edit and go right to the selects. And instead of playing everything all the way through, you can cut out the silence or or even just get a starting point for the video and then you can kind of go from there. But I'm definitely impressed. This was pretty crazy. Will it make me switch back to Premiere? Stop, stop. <laughs>